What's up everybody? Adam here with E-Trailer. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Rhino Rack roof rack system on our 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. We do have some options when it comes to colors. So right here is the silver option and it's just your bare aluminum. And then the other one's just gonna have a powder coated finish and it's black. So just depending on what kind of look you're going for, you can pick between the two. I think that the black ones look the best up on top of the roof. So that's why I picked them. But both are gonna have all the same features. Both are gonna have this little locking cap, which it's a very unique shape. So you don't have to worry about someone else having this. I mean, if they have another Rhino Rack roof rack, they could do it, but I, we don't really see that that often. So that's kind of cool that they do that. Whenever you pull this out, we are gonna have some T-slots up top. So there are some different style bars. So some of them just have the rubber on the inside. You just push down and then slide in your accessory. This one is gonna require a little bit of trimming. And what you wanna do is just keep that up extra little piece that you cut out so when you take that accessory off, you can fill up that gap because this is gonna help with some of that wind noise. But notice how it has a nice aerodynamic shape to it. So it shouldn't have much wind noise at all. But if you don't love just having this little plastic unique key, we do sell a separate little cap that's gonna have a little metal locking core in there. So that'll be a little bit more peace of mind if this isn't really something you're looking for. If you have the wilderness package, you actually have a higher rated side rail. So this is gonna be a great option for some of those rooftop tents. You know, it's an outback. You just gotta go way out back in the woods somewhere. And this is a great candidate for a rooftop tent if you like to go overlanding. Let's go over some measurements. So from the top of our roof, to the bottom of the bar, it's gonna be about three and a half inches. And then from the top of the roof to the top of the bar, it's gonna be about four and three quarters of an inch. So overall, the height that we're gonna to add to our raised side rails is gonna be about an inch and three quarters. We checked and the sunroof does not have any clearance issues, which is awesome. So you can put these bars all the way up front and you can still open up your sunroof, no problem at all. One thing I did notice, the finish on our raised side rails is pretty much the same exact thing as our foot here on the Rhino Rack. I like that, it gives it a nice factory look, and it does have really big, beefy rubber inserts, so you don't have to worry about it scratching the finish on your raised side rails. The cool thing about this, kind of like with all the other options that we have, there's the Malone Airflow 2 or the Kurt, which does the same squishing action. And what's cool about that is if you have somebody else that has raised side rails, I mean, if you don't wanna drive that day, you can pop this off in like maybe five minutes or so and get it on their vehicle so they can drive and you can just sit back and relax. I like how universal this is. It's really, really easy to install. So let's go over the installation process with you now. First things first, let's prepare the bar. One, we wanna take our little tool, a little unique tool here. And you're gonna put this in, unlock our cap, just like that, and pull this off. We just wanna make sure that the outside of our tower is gonna be facing the outside of the bar, and it's gonna fit into this little slot, just like that. Don't force it, it should go. And then once that's done, we can put our cap back on. And we can do the same thing for the other side. Now we can put this on a roof. I already have the back bar installed. The only thing we kind of want to think about is what accessories we're putting up on the roof. Usually they have an intended spread, so a maximum and a minimum. So just match that up with whatever you plan on putting it on here. And this is a symmetrical bar, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. We can place this down. And to tighten this down, or loosen it, we are gonna have to remove this cap. I just like keeping the cap on there because sometimes the feet get a little loose and I just don't want it to slide off and maybe damage our roof. So now you can unlock that and take it out. And just notice in this bottom slot, there's a little bolt. So we're gonna have a tool. And once we get it to where we want, you can start tightening this up. 
And the cool thing about the tool, it doesn't have like a torque setting, so it's not gonna like snap whenever we get to the proper tightness. But the cool thing about this one is, notice how there's a bend right here. So as we start to go and tighten this down, eventually it'll get so tight to where this part will completely straighten up. So as you can see, it's still curved. So we've got a couple more rotations to do. And now it's basically straight. So one more turn should do us. And we can do that same thing for the other side. Now let's put our cap back on. So there is only one way this is gonna go on, just this curvy curve part. We wanna make sure that's sticking up. Now we're done. Give it a good shake and it's nice and solid. So we're ready to load up our accessories. I'm a big wilderness guy. I like the outdoors, but I'm really a fan of the Subaru and I really do like the looks of the Rhino Rack up top. Comparing them to the Kurt or the Malone Airflow 2, these I think look better and they just feel like they're just higher quality. So if it were me and I owned a wilderness outback, this is definitely what's gonna be on my roof and I'm definitely gonna have a tent on top because that's awesome. And that's pretty much it for a look at the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Crossbar Roof Rack System on our 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness.